Hey, what's going on, everybody? Eric Taylor, Taylor to you coaching. Ah, getting back into my house series, right? We just left the fourth house. Now it's time to expose the fifth house in astrology. I got on my sunglasses that night. So why am I wearing the shades? Got on my college jersey. Yeah, it's the fifth house, exposing the meaning of the fifth house in astrology. What is that? Uh, yeah, you know, we're talking fire, fixed fire, Leo the lion, rawr, right? Here we go, Leo, here we go. So when you're exposing the fifth house, you're talking about it's your heart, your creativity, dating, romance, play, your hobbies, fun sex, your creativity, anything you create. It's sports, speculative games, cinema, acting, stage, film, theater, right? Because there's no guarantees. You go out there and you act, you go on a thousand auditions, you get two yeses and like 80 no's. Well, I know as an actor, right? I used to love those yeses, but those no's give you tough skin, right? When you almost get on in living color and then they cancel the series. I've been there, I know. So this fifth house, it's really showing, you know, you're, you, you think about what, what creativity is. It's, it's coming from your heart. It really represents um, ages 13 to 19, going into college, really probably higher than that, right? You know, you might graduate college 21, 22, your college years. And, right, because you go from the home of houses one through four, and then in the fifth house, right? You are determined. You're fire. You're shining bright, right? The fifth house also represents politics. It's the, uh, okay, it's so many things, right? But it's um, money, your, your mother's wealth, right? It's your, uh, I guess, the ego of your younger sibling. It's your, um, I told you, stock market, speculative gains, right? Your um, interest in, in sort of ancient knowledge, right? Like what you want to like sort of study. It's um, the education, but the college education, your actual intelligence, right? Because you're learning in the third house and the fourth, but the fifth house, you're kind of like showing your intelligence, right? What you've learned. Um, what else? I mean, man, this is this is a, a great house, right? Because it's 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 you know your creativity, how you're shining, what you doing, how you feeling, what you be like, right? It's Leo, all right. And you know, in college, man, you're partying, you're drinking, you're going to this building, you're learning, right? How you're learning in this building, your education, your you know your creativity, you're taking these classes, you know, you're dating, romance, fun sex, all of this stuff. You, you know, you might start to get into politics. You might study ancient histories. You might want to learn about the pyramids or learn about, you know, Greek mythology or ancient Africa, you know, Asia, Asia Major, Asia Minor, you know, Ethiopia Kush, the knowledge that you don't get in school, in grade school, elementary, high school, right? You're seeking this knowledge on your own. That's Leo the Lion, the fifth house, okay? And it's also your, um, your um, you'll see like um, the money you might expend on your children. You'll see the interest of your uh, spouse, you know, like what type of things they might be interested in, their creativity and groups they might want to join. So there's so much to learn about the fifth house. But just think of it as your heart, your creativity, dating, romance, fun sex, hobbies, politics, right? Acting, stage, film, you know. Now film itself, right? That's um, Pisces, the 12th house, all that stuff, right? But in terms of like being an actor, being stage, drama, okay? That's, um, that's the fifth house, Leo. So I hope you feel that I've exposed you well, fifth house. You roaring lion. You an 
attention grabber. But remember, right? So when you look at the chart, right? You know the first house. You go blah, 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 the fifth house, right? It's this more outgoing energy, right? More extroverted. Because then the fourth house and the sixth house, more introverted. So this Leo lion in your chart, right? No matter what your rising sign is, you'll look to see, okay, where is Leo at and where is the sun, right? That's why I got on my sunglasses because the fifth house, is, the sun is shining bright. Now it's at its highest point at the 10th house, but, and you'll see that video later, right? But the fifth house, it's, um, you know, it's Leo's ruled by the sun, okay? So you'll look to see where your son is at and that will tell you things about your, your fifth house, right? If you have son in the 11th, you know, maybe you're all about doing these hobbies and fun things and actings with your friends and social groups. Maybe you like to do things through the internet, your hobbies, right? Take acting classes through the internet, who, you know, or big groups or organizations you might join, right? So if your son is in the 11th, right? Or Leo in the 11th, you know, so it's just, you, you connect, you know, where that house ruler is represented and where that planet is to learn more about that house and just throughout your whole chart. It's deep, man. It's astrology. I use the whole sign system. We're talking about Western tropical, you know, I like to sprinkle in a little Vedic astrology flavor because I'm learning and I want to learn it, but I'm still mastering, you know, Western tropical. There's so much, you know, and then you look at your sign and then the degrees, bring in the numerology, right? Five, that creativity. All right. So, but I got on the seven, you know, just represent. <laughs> so fifth house, you've been exposed. Please share, like, comment down below, subscribe, ring the bell, hit me up, taylortucoaching.com, follow the social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Taylor Two Coaching. On Twitter, it's just taylor 2 c Also follow me at Big3Astrology on Twitter, okay? Hopefully I'll get that Instagram going soon and Facebook, but right now, Twitter, Big3Astrology, that's your boy doing uh, mini birth charts of your sun, moon, rising sign, and part of fortune where your soul shines brightest, the placement and the meaning of those, the regular birth chart, synastry relationship birth chart, numerology report. I got you covered. Taylor2coaching at gmail.com. Hit me up. I'll expose you. And listen, the birth chart is totally private. It's just between you and me. And it's a blessing. You learn everything. You'll learn about also the fifth house learns about your children, right? What type of kids you might have, how many you could have, right? If you got Jupiter in the fifth house, maybe you have a bunch of kids. So there's so much to learn about your teenage years, but also the children you might have. The fifth house has it all. Okay. Eric Taylor, Taylor to you coaching. Fifth house, you've been exposed with these flows. You know how to eat goals, right? <laughs> Eric Taylor, Taylor to you coaching. Peace, Leo. Fifth house, I see you shining. Have a blessed day, Taylor to you coaching. <laughs>